Hello, my name's Eric Peters. I'm a former Bath and Scotland International Rugby Union player, and it's a great pleasure to support the Fountain Centre in Cancer Awareness Week. I had testicular cancer. My left testicle had a part serotoma and part teratoma tumour in it, but I was very lucky that it was a stage one uh, cancer and I had an orchidectomy followed by two courses of chemotherapy. Well, I remember it vividly and I'm sure everyone else who's told they've had cancer uh, feels exactly the same. I was chatting to the doctor and he was carrying out the ultrasound where I was quite relaxed. We were discussing the previous week's bath match and I said to him, it's all right, isn't it? And he said, well, you've asked me a direct question, so I'll give you a direct answer. You have a cancer tumour in your testicle. And he told me that I would need to have it removed to check whether it was benign or malignant. And I think immediately you think of your life as a time clock and that my life would be shortened. And that really from then on in, you try and make the most of your life. Initially, I read up all about it, and I think it helped that my mother and my brother were both doctors and could explain the prognosis and the treatments. I think I was very lucky that the cisplatin uh, chemotherapy drug that I was to be given had an extremely high five-year survival rate, and uh, that if it hadn't spread, there was a chance I might not only have remission, uh, but also a cure, and that is actually uh, what happened in my case. Well, men are very poor about talking about their problems and showing any weaknesses, and that's especially true in a sporting environment which I was in. In the case of testicular cancer, men are embarrassed to talk about it. And initially, I didn't want to talk about it either, but I found later, once I'd come to terms with it, uh, that it was quite liberating to make a too taboo subject no longer taboo. The chemotherapy knocked my fitness immediately and for about three months, but I found that training uh, and the rehabilitation of my knee that I'd shattered the previous year helped me to focus on that and to recover physically. Cancer is a very personal thing and it takes time to come to terms with it. Cancer can be quite lonely, even with a supportive family, and it's good to be around people who understand exactly how you feel. The Fountain Centre offers support and therapies to, and a friendly face to help patients and their families come to terms with a cancer diagnosis and treatment. The hospital provides the treatment, but the Fountain Centre provides the ear to listen and the arm around the shoulder, and it helps patients and their families psychologically and gives them time and support at a very difficult time for them, which is, in my eyes, priceless. I remember when I was having chemo in a general cancer ward and I found it very humbling uh, that everyone just got on with it. I just felt very fortunate that I had a more treatable variant because there's always someone in a worse position than you. But you just have to fight it and have a positive mental attitude. I think that makes a huge difference. And for those people worried about symptoms, I'd suggest you talk to your partner or your wife or your parents or your siblings if you think you have a problem and go to the doctor even if you think it's nothing get it checked out immediately because the quicker it's diagnosed the better chances of remission or even cure don't be embarrassed there's nothing to be embarrassed about and a problem shared it's a problem halved <laughs>